if you booked a thousand dollars a year in advance of the wedding there is no question in my mind that during the course of the next year they took additional deposits not because until october the next payment was october 6 and dakota was supposed to make that and we went to a meeting with the coordinator where he was supposed to make the payment and I said, hey, do you have the money? Your next payment is due. And Haley asked him for the money. And he said, well, I have my part, but Sarah doesn't have hers. So why didn't you take the money from him? He asked me if I would put it on the credit card because okay. he was helping her cover yeah. the okay. other cost Very of the good. DJ and Very the dress. Good. We're done. We're done. But what about the bad debt, the $1,900 that we loaned her for the debt? That's fine. Mr. and Mrs. Wilkerson indicate in their complaint that they lent you $1,900 because you and your husband wanted to buy a house, but you had a bad debt on your credit report so that you couldn't buy the house together. By the way, did you buy the house? No, no ma'am. No. Okay. So you got rid of this bad debt. Did you tell them that you were going to pay them back? They told us. It I just. No. You didn't pay them back. Tell me why. Because it was supposed to be a gift for. Well, tell me about. You tell me. We. Not we. No. My parents contacted me about us spending the money we were spending on rent for the house we were living in. The house we were living in was the one we were planning on buying. We had a right to purchase agreement on the house. My mother expressed how much she thought it was a financial misstep to be paying that much in rent when we could be putting it towards a mortgage. We contacted a, a lender to try to get information on a loan, and they told us Sarah had this bad debt that we weren't actually 100% aware So far, aware of. I believe you, 100%. And then we sat down with them after we talked about, hey, are you guys going to make any many moves towards doing this. You're wasting money on rent. And I said, well, this is what we found out. She's got this bad debt. We can't afford to pay it. My mom said, this will take this off your back. You guys need to be able to get into this house. You guys need to be able to start your future together. This is a, this is a wedding present for you. And in what month did that happen? End of August 2016. And between August of 2016, Mrs. Wilkerson, mm -hmm. and the date of the wedding, November 11th, 2017, did your now daughter-in-law make any payments to you of the $1,900? Not between then and the, and the wedding date, but last April, she did make a payment of $100. And it was after you Doug mean had sent April her of 2018? Yes. After they had separated? Yes. Tell me about the payment of $100 that you made to them in April. I, I just felt bad. I felt bad because I was being harassed. And so tell I Tell me them. how you were being harassed. It was just every, it was all the time. Well, tell me about the harassment. I would like you to tell me about it. I would. Was she writing to you? Was she coming to your house? Was she calling you? It was through text messages and calling, but it, it was all the time. It was, she called me for the money. The money for the loan? Yes. This $1,900? Yes. So you finally said, I'll give you $100, and that mm -hmm. was in April. Because mm -hmm. I felt bad. Why didn't you pay any money after April? Because I couldn't afford it. I was living paycheck to paycheck for all my bills that I had coming in, and I told them I would pay it right as soon as I could. Just bills just kept coming in, and I couldn't afford it. Now, have you seen your parents since you and your wife separated? Yes, I see them every week. Did you give them any money towards the wedding? No, ma'am. And that is because? I didn't feel I owed them any money. Good. I don't either. Judgment for the plaintiffs in the amount of $1,800, which is the balance of the loan. They're done. Thank you very much. Why does I excuse you may step out?